Welcome to the final case of Let's Play LNOR. This is a different kind of war, Niskel. Is it going to be like chemical warfare, or what are we talking about here? Oh, it's a different kind of war. The war from within. Because I'm thinking war. War never changes. Or war has changed, and we're just, you know, at the end of it. Alright, so narrowed down the, the idea that the... The arsonist is a bug sprayer, and there's three joints around here that, you know, t particularly take care of pest controls. We're going to go visit all of them. Okay. So, f first one we'll go to here is uh, Rapid Exterminators. Here we go. We'll just go up and go down the list. Uh, I am so glad we're Jack Kelso again. <laughs> Actually, uh, we're going to be playing both Jack Kelso and Cole Phelps. This being the final case and all, we'll be swapping between protagonists for a little bit. I was wondering about that. That's a nice car you got there. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is a nice car. I'm going to take this car. Time to destroy it. Actually, I'm going to keep this car. Oh, really? Yep. I mean, it is a nice car. Because I freaking love this car. The handling is so goddamn nice. Oh, really? Oh, yes. So, so were we talking the, the Rockstar attention to detail where every car handles differently? Well, I'm, I'm sure they do. I'm pretty sure that a bus doesn't handle the same way as this car does, you know? Right. The acceleration's different. You know, I mean, every game developer worth their salt would make cars that run differently. Wouldn't they? But that especially would take one, too much listen, development time. Especially one of this scope and scale. Even for all the things it doesn't have, it still has differently driving cars. Driving around being such a, you know important part of gameplay. Hmm, rapid exterminators. I wonder if they use guns on the bugs. Speaking of guns, we're still shot in the arm. I noticed. Yeah, we're still bleeding from the arm, but we don't give Who's no shit. Asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get Ooh. to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that ain't nothing. I've, I've, I've had worse. It's just an arm. I take shots back. in the arm like sure. this for breakfast. <laughs> I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. So looking for a big cowboy, but look what we have here. Another newspaper. Ooh, clean up the LAPD, huh? Uh huh. Interesting. This is Peterson is the guy trying to be the DA. Yeah. And oh, poor Courtney. What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Boo. Yeah, that's the response everybody needs to hear. This is a great moment for Phelps. Hey, detective, can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. Time to talk. No, this is brilliant. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with. Mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. Woo! He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. Oh, and we got he him on evidence. Man, you'll ever know. You say one more word about him, and I will blow your fucking head off. Yeah! I lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why. <laughs> that shit was long overdue, man. Oh my god, that felt great. Long overdue. I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. He's Stay clearly shaken, though. Yeah. Sure Did you see that face? He's pissing himself in his <laughs> fucking ketchup and mustard stained <laughs> pants. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Oh, Phelps, you're back in my good book, man. So I was worried that we missed a newspaper, but thankfully there are two in this case. Oh, okay. If we didn't be a good cop and instead of going to the correct bug sprayer and just come right here, we would have missed it. 
Because the true, uh, correct answer is Westlake Pest Control. The guy we're looking for works at Westlake, but, you know, might as well be thorough and go to Nuclear Bug anyway. Well, besides, sure. yeah, besides, you know, I, I thought we'd take this time to sort of reflect on what we've, uh, experienced so far, because this was a pretty long series. Yes, it was. I mean, not as long as Sonic Adventure 2, but I'll, I'll give it to you. No, not quite. Just not quite, but, uh, we do, we've been doing this for almost every weekend now for, you know, good several months now, so, uh, what did you, what do you think about the game? I really like it. <laughs> it's really good. Oh! That was a nice uh, jump. Oh, I love the handling on this. I wouldn't be able to pull it up with any other shitty car. Uh, L.A. Noir is great. I wish I would have played it back when it was, you know, new. But it seems like L.A. Noir is kind of coming back, at least in the in the internet verse, where the X to doubt thing has become funny again. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of bringing that back. You know, again with the remastered version coming out, and everyone's always hungry for something gritty on Switch, right? Well, it's funny because the X to Doubt doesn't even exist anymore on Switch. It's now truth or <laughs> false. So it's, a, I, it, it's it's good cop, bad cop, and um, accuse. I think. Welcome to Nuclear. Yeah. What can I do you for? Actually, I want to try you? this I on Switch. I think that would be really interesting. Cowboy accent. We have only three people. Since now I have a wonderful let's play to follow. I kind of want to try this on VR as well. Thanks for your help. This was on VR. Yeah. What else was this ported to? I don't know how much of it is on VR, and I don't know really much more about it, but... Erica. You know, it's... It's it's a pretty good game. I wish that, uh... You know, there'd be a lot more, uh... Mystery detective games like this set in an open world. Yeah, we don't have enough detective in games. Like, we get gritty open worlds, or we get cowboys. That's pretty much Rockstar's MO right now. And with, uh, you know, Telltale shutting down and adventure games being up in the air again, it was going to be a market for that. So I think that, again, if they were to make an L.A. Noir or a detective good cop, bad cop based drama like this again, I think people would, would definitely eat it up. You know, I'd be down for a point-and-click adventure game, but with Rockstar Riders. Hey. I completely demolished that car with yeah, one it, hit. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that car is completely gone. It evaporated. But, uh, yeah, apparently Red Dead 2 is doing good in the story department, so I wouldn't mind having those riders come up with, like, a point-and-click L.A. Noir sequel. I know it'll never happen, but it'll still be interesting. I like to think ever since, like, you know, the first Red Dead Redemption, Rockstar has really upped their game when it comes to writing. I mean, even GTA 4 had or had pretty okay writing, but, you know, then again, it had Roman in it, so... <laughs> hey! No dissing Roman! He's and my also, cousin! He's and, great. and also, there, there's stupid nonsense, damned if you do, damned if you don't ending from, you know, GTA 4. That, that was stupid, I didn't like it that. It never sat well with me. Nah, I didn't like it. GTA 5, I think, has a lot better writing. Just because it's a lot more cathartic and a lot more fun. I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. <laughs> An address? <laughs> that stupid yeah. smirk. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. At first I, I thought it was him, but it it isn't. Oh, we switching? Yep, we are now switching. So now, oh. Col so uh, Jack Kelso is going to go investigate the big old cowboy dude who is probably our greatest suspect in uh, setting all these fires. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're going to do we're going to go back to yesterday. We're going to go to Doctor Fontaine's crime scene and ah, poke good. around there. I was hoping they wouldn't skip this. I'm no, I'm very yeah, curious no, now. yeah, no. This th this is a good place for Cole to be What's because Elsa's involved. Dead in his patient's room, spine snapped like a twig. Yeah, last time we had a like a mystery masked man. I've met Fontaine. Hmm. His last patient was Elsa Lickman. Cole, she's missing. Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. Ha ha! Help me, Rusty. Is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Again, I just love that they just slip a weird-looking anachronism in there. 
It's like, and I saw him drive away, the driver looked like Tom Cruise, you know? <laughs> Wait. This... Okay. Hey, go with me on the timeline. You're better at me than this. All right, go Where's Karloff? I'll give you in the when was he big? Frankenstein? Yeah, but was that the 40s, the 30s? Yeah, he was... I think it adds up. Anyway, uh, here is our final newspaper. Yay! That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leo. Control. <gasps> ah, Fontaine's protege, or one of his patients, I don't know. Fontaine and Leila Monroe were definitely working together, but the problem is... Dr. Fontaine's little uh, pet, you know, the guy who called him way in the beginning of the game. Yeah, yeah. Way in the beginning. We gotta find a way to, to get rid of him now because he's become too big and he's becoming a problem. Yeah, it's all coming together. And I had to kill Courtney because he was starting to smarten up, you know? I mean, do you remember when we were picking through trash, finding evidence, and now we're finding the big bad boss taking down his fire starter? So I guess at the end it all just kind of come together. Yeah! And I just wish they put the tracks in different portions of the ride, you know? Take it as you have it, I guess. We've still got quite a few bumps and hills to ride over because, you know, this is this is one hell of a finale, I gotta I gotta admit. <laughs> so you think So you can put a bullet in Jack Hill so you still can't stop him. <laughs> yeah, seriously! Guy's unstoppable. I would love to see you try to take care of Jack freaking <laughs> Kelso. Ah, congrats on getting all the newspapers. So there should be an achievement that pops up, but it'll pop up later. Oh, so, it's one, one of those delayed achievements? Yeah, so I wouldn't worry if it doesn't show up immediately. So it looks like he's got a lighter here. I-H. I'm Harlan. Hmm. Oh, it's, it's burning morphine. Ah, oh, smell that overdose. This is what he used to light his spoon, of course. <laughs> well, this is our last body we're going to be looking at. All of this. I'm going to miss all this. <laughs> Everything looking at the light corpses, touches. Getting up close and personal, just looking into the eyes Her. of lifelessness. By a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard Apparently he made like a hulking behemoth. Well, we're going to figure that out, too. Because now our final person is to take down this guy. If we get him, we can... Ex like, if, if we get the guy that Jack Kelso is after right now, then we can expose everything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, about Dr. Harlan Fontaine's little plan, about all that shit, but the thing is, we don't even know much about the plan right now. Right. We've been assuming that it was to get rich off of insurance claims, but no. It is bigger than that? Edward Grove. McCarthy Vista. Crescent Heights. Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? These are all the fires. Yeah. How come? Oh my god. New houses, all being built in the path of the freeway? Hmm. Hey, good job, Magpie. Hey, hey, hey. So they're gonna build a gigantic freaking freeway, and these houses were in the way. Oh! So they gave the houses to the little firebug. But now he's getting out of control, and uh, <laughs> police are getting everywhere, and people are going to get onto their little scheme, which they have. The police it, are here right now. It was all just to build roads. Build freeways. Oh, the bludgeoning weapon. Uh... So much for your foresight, Doctor. <laughs> I can just see Cole takes a big old lick of it and goes... Tastes German. 
Look at that little spot of blood on the crystal ball, like a little rosebud. <laughs> anyway, we got Leland. Let's move the premises. Family's residence no longer requires assistance from any other country. Our driver's Oh, a liability. Harlan, this is not a arrangement. Your assistance is stepping his market. I'm out of control. Uh oh. Huh. Hmm. Cool. Hey, hey, hey. Status of subject. Treatment and observation ongoing. Subject born Oklahomian share cop. He, he served as a, uh, until an incident, uh, uh, frequently resting to the Father trauma died, of, uh, conclusion. something Just CC fine. and doses of something. Uh, Ooh, more, he's a paranoid more, schizophrenic. Oh, something happened in the military that made him go crazy, and Dr. Harlan Fontaine was trying to give him morphine to to go for it, but it still didn't stop everything, so they gave him fires a set, but now he's gone fucking crazy because he thinks that what he's doing is right. Oh, what have you done, you stupid madman? So let me guess, this is probably one of our army buddies, probably one that didn't like coal, started taking morphine thanks to Fontaine, and then just started... You know, become a little bit of a pyromaniac. You're on the right track, but you haven't gone on. You haven't gotten on the highway yet. You know what I mean? Mm, there's the morphine. Hello. Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, maybe it's just Roy Earl. He's the mastermind behind this entire thing. Well, we actually gotta tap these blackmail documents. Okay. So Fontaine burned the houses for Monroe to help with this little development scheme. People started dying and it attracted attention. And then the police started getting into it. Doctor was starting to lose grip of the situation because he's a fucking paranoid schizophrenic because of something that happened in the military. But how would it not cause attention? You're burning houses down. They could just be accidents, but then people died. <sighs> yeah, people okay. died. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the Oh my god, it's the president. New houses sitting on. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses so are the worth. The insurance is just a stepping stone for what's really going on. It's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. Drive up the property value by, by like a whole bunch, and then it's gonna be a fucking gold mine for for you know real estate. Yoki cowboy, get him, get Elsa, get him. Because it'll be by a fucking freeway. It'll be cheap to make. It's brilliant, but it's completely fucking awful. This is exciting. Take him down. Oh my god, we caught up with Serial Killer X. Wait, I think I've already made that joke, never mind. So we're gonna start things off as Jack... K J as uh, Jack Kelso here. This is now today, after we've investigated the crime scene of Dr. Harlan Fontaine. But I swear we're at the Baker House right now, so I think we are definitely at the right place. But, uh, you know, yes. I, I'm, d I'm, I'm just gonna be uh, curious here. I'm just gonna get in my car and... Uh, See if I can just, uh, ram the door down or something. Here we go! I wonder if I can drive away, but nah. <laughs> I did oh, I could've, I, I, I could've gone a little better. Oh well. I guess I'll just, uh, politely lock, politely knock then. Guess nobody's home. See a guy come around the corner. Hello, Jackie boy! Nah, this place is... Oh. Well, this is a den. Whew. Oh, wow! Custom-made flamethrower. A 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. Oh, great. A flamethrower. Huh. Let's take a poke around, see what we can find. Oh, we just here. invaded the home of the Fury. Uh... A 
lot of beds. Why does he have so many beds? To burn his victims. Oh, I heard a clue. I heard a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's a thing. Ah. Well, I guess it's not weird for him to have insect poison in his house. I mean, him being in his line of work. Another bunk bed, this time without any mattresses. There's the mattress over there. Smokes a lot. Does he, like, piss the bed every night or something like that, so he just has to buy a whole new bed? This guy must really have problems. Oh. It's the origami killer! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but <laughs> no, but no. Quite a flock you got here, kid. Oh my god! The river tunnels. Well, this guy's tunnel okay, so he's not here, <laughs> probably because he's escaped into the L.A. river tunnels, because that's where he likes to hang out, but... <laughs> He was definitely at Okinawa, <laughs> that's for damn sure. <laughs> he was definitely there. Yeah, I guess. Anything else here? <laughs> uh, mosquito kills. <laughs> so, he, that's how he right. set the it, fires, of course. Yeah, everything makes sense. Oh my god, that was funny. Oh, look, another one. <laughs> You're supposed to give the origamis to people, though. You're supposed to, like, fold up a thousand and send them to people to hope that they get well or, you know, get over a hardship or something. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. Every single the... one of them, except for Cole Phelps, is dead! There's all the boys, so you were right. Our culprit is one of the men who we've been seeing in our military flashbacks. Oh my god, Ira. You poor backward son of a bitch. It was the guy with the flamethrower. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the L.A. River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge. Oh, he's gonna get jumped. Don't ask questions. Just be there. Uh, jumped. Now everyone knows where he's going. Ah, oh, shit. And he's pretty much saying, hey, I'm gonna expose everything. Kelso. I have an urgent radio and a lot of people are gonna lose their chewing to getting a lot of money, unless if I get to this spot. 